Maybe you've had trouble chambering your resized brass, or you want to get the utmost accuracy out of your rifle cartridges. Today we're going to go over that by properly setting our sizing die, utilizing the Hornady Lock and Load Headspace Comparator. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lock and load bushing and we're going to set it into our press and lock it down. Now we're going to take our sizing die, which has already got the decapping pin set to 3 sixteenths of an inch past the mouth of the die per the instructions. And we're going to start it in that lock and load bushing. From there, once we get it threaded in, we're going to bring our ram to full extension. And we're going to continue to thread that die in until it makes contact with the shell holder and stops threading it. Now we're going to hand tighten our lock ring. From there, now we can lower the ram. Today we're going to be resizing 6.5 Creedmoor brass that has been fired in my rifle. We've pre-measured all of this brass and it's sitting at 66 thou. Now, this is personal preference, but today I'm shooting for 2 thou of shoulder bump. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to resize that brass. It moved 1,000. So now we're going to make an incremental adjustment to our die by threading the die in to the head of the press. Then I'm going to start with a new piece of brass. And this is important because if we take a piece of brass that we've already re partially resized, we may get a different reading. There I've got my two thou of shoulder bump. Now I'm going to take my Allen wrench and tighten my lock ring. Now that we've got our die locked down and the lock ring tightened, we can continue on with the sizing of this batch of brass. 